It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Pressure Drop Brewery and it's a bottle of the Sid Strong's Cascadian Dark Rye Ale coming in at 7.1% ABV. This is a collaboration with Brewdog Camden. Camden Town Brewdog. They do a kind of invite the local brewer to brew a beer. Um, they get them all in once a year and it's fantastic. We've had it here in Cardiff where I'm based, uh, Brewdog Cardiff, and we've had the likes of Kelt, uh, we've had Otley, we've had some wonderful wine brewery and to name just a few. Uh, and they all come together and you get to try lots of different Welsh beer, in this case lots of different London beer. And it's a great thing to do by Brewdog um, to, to help promote local breweries. So this is Pressure Drop, Sid Strong's Cascadian Dark Rye Ale. You can get this beer from imperialbeerclub.com Imperial Strength Beers Only on their club. So you pay them £30 a month and they send you around 10, well it's definitely 10 beers. In fact with it being an Imperial Club it might be a little bit more. It might be a little bit more than £30 but uh, don't quote me on that. Go on Imperial Beer Club com's website link is in the description box and check it out for yourself but the beers I've had have been really good uh, this is a three to four finger tan colored quite tight head jet black beer in the glass nice levels of carbonation rolling up the side there look at that almost looks like a stout let's get the aroma Oh yeah, lots of roasted malt. It smells a little like a little like a an American brown ale. Spicy rye coming through. It smells good. Let's get past this big thick head and give it a taste. Cheers, everyone. Mm. Oh yeah, Stone the Crows, Stone the Crows, what an awesome beer, lovely, it's prickly, there's a prickliness to it, like a prickly nettle, like a stinging nettle in there, it's spicy, it's a little earthy. The Cascade Hop just blooms. It's a lovely floral, slightly rose petal mixed with some grapefruit and spice. Wonderful, wonderful hop. Uh, one of the more, how can I put, how can I categorize Cascade Hop? It was one of the earlier hops that we used in the American craft beer revolution. Yet, it remains one of my favourites. I do like the Cascade Hop. Mixed with that spicy rye and that almost brown ale, biscuity, bready, malty nuttiness. It's a fantastic beer, a really fantastic beer. And for 7.1% ABV, it really does. That little kick of alcohol that kind of warms your throat a little bit and warms the pit of your stomach. Just, it's just a combination of lots of little good things coming together to make something that's quite excellent in the glass. but it's that initial stinging nettle 
nettleness, if you like, that, that really grasps me. There's that earthiness, that n spicy, uh, stinging nettle earthiness mixed with that lovely, gra yeah, grapefruity cascade hop. And then the nuttiness and the biscuitiness and, and wow, it's, it's, it's a fantastic beer. Sid Strong's Cascadian Dark Rye Ale. Let's see if it's bottle condition from pressure drop then. I've been drinking their beers now. It's the very, very end of 2016. And I, I've been drinking the pressure drop beers. I first come across them around the beginning of 2014. So just under three years ago. And they drink so well. I think I had an IPA from them to begin with. Uh, what's it called? I think it was called Bosco. I think the beer was called Bosco, but it was lovely. A really lovely, lovely IPA. And this, this is a, a very good beer to have probably after Bosco. Grab yourself a bottle of Bosco, drink that wonderful, beautiful IPA from Pressure Drop, and then move on to this quite wonderful it's very close to being for me a, a, an american brown ale it's lovely let's rate it ah oh, it's just classy really classy great head look at that head it's, it's retained itself lovely in the glass washing the beer around nice carbonation nice look Great lacing, smaller the bubble, the better the beer. An old brewer once told me, dark brown in the glass, almost jet black. Aroma, smells great and the taste is wonderful. Rating. I've talked myself into a nine out of 10 beer here. The more I've drunk this beer, the more I've had time to enjoy it with that little alcohol burn going down to the pit of the stomach. Yeah, it's lovely. So yeah, 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Reload Craft Beer. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.